I hope this fucking works. Video games. Oh my god, I have an idea. Let's fucking... Let's play something that doesn't, like, take forever to finish. Fucking... The Kingdom Hearts, Mario Tennis. Let's let's play World of Warcraft. Uh, this is fucking Giant Bomb presents Persona 4, and here we are, the best Super Nintendo game of all time, Donkey Kong Country 3. Plot, plot, plot. Okay, this guy ate out his entire restaurant or something. And this is the suavest motherfucker in the world. He's so boss. He wears a pink suit, doesn't even give a shit. Oh shit, he kidnapped Princess Elise. I mean, Donkey Kong, I mean, I don't know, who went missing in Donkey Kong Country 3? Wasn't it, like, fucking... Nobody? Wasn't King K. Rool just being an asshole? I don't think anybody got kidnapped. Okay, so if we save Princess Peach, then he's going to give us an all-you-can-eat buffet. And that guy's pretty much fucked either way. Okay, this game is pretty fucking crazy. You basically just run around killing everybody, just like every video game ever. It gets really hard later. And let's go get our first haircut. From a black guy, I could never tell if those were shades, or if those are like irises and his eyes are really bugging out. I like to think shades, because shades make you cool. Who keeps hairspray in fucking golden trash cans? Yeah, boy! Aw, oh, look at this slick motherfucker. Boom! It gets even better when you get later to the mansion and you get the fucking mohawk and throw like a boomerang. Ah. I hate the spawn rates in this game. You can just walk off screen and disappear. You never know it's just gonna kick you in the fucking face. Ah! The sliding in this game is really weird. Haircuts basically act like Mario mushrooms. If you get hit, you just lose your hair, dude. If you get hit with no hair, you die. It's basically just like living in San Francisco. Food doesn't really benefit you at all. There isn't really a real score meter. And I just took the hard route. Whatever. There are points, I guess, but the score only shows up at the end of the stage, and there isn't even a leaderboard, and nothing matters. And mole people. See? Fucking conspiracies. They want to make you unfabulous mother of god, they're hiding in the forest. Fucking underground rapists. This is literally the worst thing ever. Underground mole people rapists out to take away my sweet haircut. Oh my god! Oh shit, it's like Christmas. Except everybody's sober. Thank God for video game cities having horrible plumbing. Boom! I think there's just another can of hairspray over here. Yeah, no, no, it's food. Useless, useless food. Pretty much the shortest route through any level in this game is climbing as high as you can and running to the right really fast. Case and point. Fuck you! It's really clunky on a keyboard, and oh my god, I hate this level. This is the worst level in the entire game. Literally, like, the final boss is easier than this. But it's also the most fun part of the game. 
I don't understand the strange, terrifying Disney world we live in, where there are real live monsters with knives and guns, but also anthropomorphic cartoon characters. That's totally a boy, by the way. I don't know. No, fuck you. Your opinion's wrong. Right in the ass. These guys don't fuck around. I don't think that guy actually has a torso. I think that car is his body. Okay, here we go. It's totally not Sonic the Hedgehog. Absolutely not at all. It's actually slightly harder and easier to control than Sonic 06. I'm glad this guy's just driving around with a box of hairspray on top of his car. It's like some hideous amalgamation of every video game ever made. I'm running down a highway, jumping over barrels, dodging mobsters with Molotov cocktails, and wolves are driving cars trying to kill me. Giant tire people! They take two hits to kill, but once you run past them, they're pretty much useless. Boink. Everybody in this city wants to kill you. The red trucks are checkpoints. They drive faster than the speed of sound and let you skip half the level. Except you can never tell when they're done, because the cars don't come on screen. You just stand there for like hours. And there is a real timer. That sun is going down in, like, not real time, but if you stand there, it'll go down and it's a sensitive That takes, like, three fucking hours, and you could walk this stage and basically still make it in time. Oh my god! And I died. It's really kind of a little bit clunky on a keyboard. What the... Fuck, I thought you started back at the red truck. It's been forever since I played this game. Ah! Fucking... What city is this? Everybody's, like, Italian and Mexican and, like, I think this... Is this, like, Empire City? Some generic cartoon, like... I feel like we're in America City. That is the that that's canon. This is the canon name of this level. America City. And you run even you run into even more hideous caricatures later. Just wait until the mansion level. That's probably my favorite, and it's right after this. Uh, I think this is the same world that Tales of Symphonia took place in. Oh, I forgot, his crouching sprite looks like he's just taking a dump. This is a really classy game. And it just gets classier later. I hit him! How did that- Fuck it, no! There was a can of hairspray back there, and I'm going to go get it. Okay, so there wasn't. Fuck you. And he's back! There it is. I knew there was one somewhere. Another fun thing about this game is that it reminds me of Banjo-Kazooie in the sense that his sprite gets more and more frustrated the more you fuck up. The life in the corner, I mean. Ah! If you see a vehicle that's like a different color or shape, you know it's gonna like fuck you up somehow. I know there's like one more can of hairspray before the boss. There fucking better be. Oh my god! Why can you run equally as fast as me? Oh, okay, he just exploded for no apparent reason. That's good. I like it when that happens. Not really to me though, that kinda sucks. Ah! Okay, then this is the boss. 
See, he's like a real mob boss with real gun and well. Fuck! I forget how many hits he takes. I think it was just three. Come on, please be three. Shit! Shit! Ah! Okay, it wasn't three. Shit. I don't want to die. Oh! Fucking did shit! This game started wars back in my day. I knew, see, I knew there was some kind of checkpoint. Oh, it was right before the boss. That's the only one you're gonna give me. Suck my dick, Rocky Roden. Save state this bitch. Fuck, hit the trunk spring, you piece of shit! Okay, let's fuck this bitch up. Mmm! I'm just gonna do this and hope he spawns here. Yes! Why did I never think of this? Oh god, in however many fucking years of playing this game, why did this never occur to me? That is the easiest time I've ever had with this bot. This game is fucking dumb. Her name is Melody? That is such a generic damsel in distress name. Oh, it's not a mansion, it's an apartment complex, that's right. It's still haunted as fuck. Just get on top of the fucking car. Who even needs a passenger seat? And we crashed. Sunset Freeway? That is a Sonic the Hedgehog level name. Like, not even similar, it probably actually is. Okay, so that was, I guess, fucking World 1 of Rocky Rodent. Let's peace out for now, and we'll come back to the Haunted Apartment Complex later. This level's fucked up, but you got the best power-up ever.